A student's illness tonight is prompting KFTM to examine the difference between viral and bacterial meningitis. Doctors are treating a Nederland High School student for a suspected case of viral meningitis. We just checked with the principal. He says they have no new information. KFTM's Lauren Hewitt explains what the possible case of meningitis means for the student as well as others. Seth Stevens is the Director of Disease Management Services at Baptist Hospital's Smart Health Clinic. Generally, meningitis is a disease that's an inflammation of the meninges, which is the covering uh, of the brain itself. The two most common forms of meningitis are bacterial and viral. He says viral meningitis symptoms are less severe. And most people that um, contract viral meningitis recover without any lasting effects to, uh, to their health. Um, and generally also, there's not a particular prescribed treatment for viral meningitis. Typically, it's supportive therapy and symptom management. Doctors are treating a Nederland High School student for a suspected case of viral meningitis. Steven says it's rare for viral meningitis to spread. If everything's confirmed as viral, the chances of it spreading or the chances of it um, having lasting effects on the patient um, are very, very low. Steven says bacterial meningitis is far worse and spreads easily. Um, and if it's not treated and, uh, and uh, caught quickly, uh, can result in death relatively fast. Symptoms for both bacterial and viral meningitis include high fever, severe headaches, nausea, stiff neck, fatigue, and sensitivity to light. The symptoms for bacterial are more severe and also include seizures and a purple skin rash. Sometimes patients go into a coma. Stephen says it's important for parents to vaccinate their children to protect against bacterial meningitis. Our rates of meningococcal disease and meningococcal meningitis are actually the lowest they've been uh, in the country for quite some time. Um, and that's mostly attributed to being to the vaccinations. Lisa Smith has a daughter at Nederland High School. She's pleased the principal notified parents. My mind was at rest whenever he notified everyone and, you know, just told us what was going on. And they've always done a good job of keeping us informed. Smith is relieved the student is suspected to have viral, not bacterial meningitis. Absolutely. Our prayers go out to that student. In Jefferson County, Lauren Hewitt, KFDM 6 News. Stephen says meningitis usually starts as a viral or bacterial infection that's left untreated and spreads to the blood, the brain, and the spinal cord. Now, if your child has a high fever or flu-like symptoms, Stevens advises you to take them to a doctor.